play that green thing? Baxter? Okay, and off of the wall splat, you're saying I might have to walk forward a bit because you can do a full combo off of the wall splat. Faster specials like light DP and light kick flip. Okay, okay. I, I might just do that, do a little step forward and try to do it, but knowing that I can get a full combo off of it, excellent. It's a supercomputer? It's not, it's, it's not a reptile. It's not an alien. It's a supercomputer. Would find a lone chameleon puppet torn apart in the garbage in a back alley and did something remarkable. Baxter bioformed into the puppet, creating a new body for itself to travel the world. Alright, I'm gonna, I'm gonna learn about Baxter on the fly. Let's do it. Are we charged? We're charged. All right. Charge window doesn't seem very long, though. Right, Frosty? Dude, supercomputer took over a chameleon puppet, traveling the world. This is, this is what I need out of my video, like, fighting game lore. Absolutely. Yo, and we got the big stretch. Yes. Oh, what? I can rev up? Baxter can charge up by spinning. What does the charge up do? Baxter Garg, yes, yes. No doubt related to our good friend Argagarg. They are buffed by how much spin speed he has. Spin speed can be charged through his craze technique by holding the... Okay. So charge back forward, kick. Charge down, up, punch. Okay. Quarter circle back, kick, air also. Oh. Oh, multi hit now. Okay. Oh, that is freaking sick. Oh my god, that is freaking sick. And yeah, maybe a little bit of a typo in there. I stumbled it. <laughs> Yo, Blanca Garg? Ha absolutely, Blanca Garg. The green blur? Who knew that, like, Sonic, Argagarg, Blanca, that they were all in the same family? They're all cousins, right? Is that an Aussie accent? Oh yeah, good eye, mate. No, yep, yep. How did I not even notice that? Ora, ora. Yeah. 
He downloaded the accent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He just got the language pack, right? Yo, the, uh, the character designs in this game are delightfully wild. Yo, the stretchy limbs too, like, this is such an amalgam of, like, some super frustrating playstyles. Oh my god, that anti-aired into a proper combo? Oh, that's... There you go. Oh no! Uh, yes, yes, Monk. Annoying playstyle, you will definitely be maining Baxter. Alright, I need a quick look. What are my... Double quarter circle forward, punches... Back in the air. Cool, cool. Let's get this crap and what is that, like, teleport in animation? I've seen that before. Partially inspired by the Kirby Kirby Superstar of all things. Okay. God, what was that? Was that like a Meta Knight appearance or something? Oh, a chameleon mini boss, chameleo arm. Okay. Damn, it has been so long since I played, uh, whatever, Kirby Superstar. Interesting. Oh, I love, love hearing about the inspirations. It's so sick. Oh, got gribbled. Yo, where'd you go? Man, yo, Baxter is super sick. All right, well, he's got, um, there you go. He's got the the up charge as well. Oh, I love, I love the spinning, like, just, like, taking off off screen. Yeah. 
The Black Heart, I have not actually checked out the Black Heart since its new release on Halloween last year. Um, def I'm adding it to the list. It's going on the whiteboard. That's right, yo, two new characters in like a, whatever, 20-year-old Mugen game updated in a new engine. Whole bunch of new palettes. That game is so pretty. Like, honestly, I just love looking at it. There you go, counter hits for days. Oh no! Oh yeah, Kalexo, Blackheart, bit of an inspiration for you. That, honestly, like, it, it's such a, it's such a big name in the Mugen scene um, that I'm not surprised that it's kind of like a lot of people, I think a lot of people, it's the first when they hear about, like, dedicated Mugen games. Blackheart's probably one of the first ones that come to, come to mind. Oh, sweet. Full charge for the, uh, what is it, the three bar super or the like devastation move, whatever it's called. Yo, Blackheart slaps so hard. Yeah, it's the it's the horror fighting game. It too has some really interesting. It's something you see across a lot of Mugen games, man. Like some of the character designs that you get are really freaking interesting. Uh, also, super heavy on the lore in the story mode. Um, if you like some like ap like apocalyptic, um, it's like it's thick. It's thick in terms of how the, uh, um, like, melodramatic it can be, but, like, that's kind of cool. It's the it's the aesthetic. Um, man, yeah, Blackheart's definitely worth a playthrough for the story mode. Yeah, it's, it's, not, a, it's not a horror game. It's, like, horror-themed, right? Um, so that's kind of... That's their in, but, like, uh, it's why you see it pop up at Halloween all the time. It's why the new update dropped on Halloween. And no, um, uh, Tokyo there, it's, uh, I don't, I don't only play fighting games, I just love fighting games, it's kind of like my jam, and what I like to play in mostly in my spare time, but I play a bunch of stuff, um, I've been playing Quomp, indie games, puzzle games, bunch of Tetris, kind of stuff like that, um, so, who knows, that's usually what, if you, if you, if you hop by the digital basement on Wednesdays, um, you'll oftentimes see me playing some, some other stuff as well, so.